Articulations, Repeats, and Endings Articulations include note-attached markings, such as staccatos, accents, fermatas, and breath marks. I recommend entering articulations immediately after entering the notes. Even though there are no articulations in the Hymn to Joy score you just finished, you will most likely need to use them in other musical compositions you create. Choose the articulation tool. Click on a note head where you want to add a staccato. The articulation palette opens. You can select the staccato mark and click Select to enter it. But notice the blue letters in the corner of each box. S for staccato, A for accent, F for fermata, B for breath mark, plus others. These are Finale's meta tools, which are intuitive shortcut keys that will speed up your workflow. Click Cancel to close the palette. To choose a meta tool to enter articulations, hold down the S key for staccato and click on the note head. Hold A for accent and click. Hold F for fermata and click. Hold B for breath mark and click. You can also add articulations on multiple note heads horizontally or vertically in your score by holding down the meta tool and dragging over the note heads. To edit an articulation, click on the handle to move or delete. Click on any other tool to make the editing handles disappear. If you need to redraw your screen, press Ctrl-D on Windows, that's Command-D on Mac. You can also use the Selection tool to edit, move, or delete articulations. Repeats and Endings The Repeat tool is used to add repeat signs and endings to a score. Click on the Repeat tool. To enter a forward repeat sign at the beginning of a measure, right-click with a two-button mouse or control-click with a single-button mouse to bring up the contextual menu. Here you can choose if you want to add a simple repeat, a first and second ending, a basic ending, or a forward or backward repeat bar. I'll choose Create Forward Repeat Bar. To enter a first and second ending, you must first highlight the measures contained in the first ending only. Click on the first measure of the first ending and shift click on the last measure of the first ending to highlight them. Right click with a two button mouse or control click with a single button mouse in the highlighted area. Choose create first and second ending. Both endings in the repeat sign are entered simultaneously. When the repeats and endings are entered this way, you are able to enter them quickly and they will all play back correctly. Click out of the repeat tool on any other tool icon to make the editing handles disappear. If you need to redraw your screen, press Ctrl D on Windows, that's Command D on Mac. You can also use the Selection Tools contextual menu to enter repeats and endings in the same manner.